Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another fantastic interview for you guys and the target of today is Kai. Yo, what's up? Kai is all the way over in Malaysia, which is why I'm doing my first night recording with my fancy lights. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I just want to give the floor over to Kai to talk about uh, music and, and uh, what he thinks what he thinks. Yeah, about so days. yeah, what's up guys? My name is Kai, I'm all the way from Malaysia. Malaysia and I'm a music producer, songwriter. So yeah, well, music has been the whole life for me. Like I've been living and breathing music, I feel like. And yeah, it's just a way for me to express myself. That's one thing and something that's really passionate about and I'm what I love doing basically. And I get to do this full time and I'm super grateful for it. So yeah, basically music is a, it just, it could be in so many ways. It, it has different impacts on different people and no matter big or small but for me it's like a huge part no matter it's like the way of my living the way of me thinking like my creative outputs everything i feel like just surrounds by music so yeah to me it's a huge thing basically it's like my whole life yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> that awesome makes sense. do you feel like music is like a antidote for for maybe other other facets of life that can't be put together as nicely or or do you have some other <laughs> thought about it like that? Is it like medicine in any way? Or is it just what you uh, Definitely. Oh, I mean, definitely. Uh, for me, to my extent, probably it's like a medicine-like thing. Because like, it could be medicine, it could be uh, dopamine, it could be like a lot of things. Like, it heals me, it makes me happier, it makes me great, it makes me who I am. It just makes me like more solid and more uh, confident in myself. It's a it's a thing that actually like boosted a lot of stuff inside me that I, I didn't know about basically. So yeah, how, definitely. How did you get started with music? Was it, did you start with beats or did you kind of settle into that being a niche of yours? We, we, I mean, we could talk about like way early, like since young. Uh, I, I'm, I'm Asian, so it's like a typical Asian thing. Like parents want us to like learn piano since young. So I started off like learning that uh, since five, I think. Yeah. and but the most of the kids around me they actually don't like playing piano they feel like it's a additional stress like for kids you know like they just want to like go out, have fun and not really like spending hours and hours on the piano playing music but i i actually enjoy the process growing up like everybody hated it but i kind of like it so i feel like this might be for me like music might be something a little a little more special for me so i actually decided to study like music in, in university that's what i picked up on is and what i went for so started from there i kind of started off making beats and making beats is i feel like i'm just more confident in doing it so i kind of stick to it and i learn like the I learned everything and started learning from people went for an internship learn from the best and yeah, I kind of still stick with beats, but I still like to sing for a little bit. I do have some stuff that I want to express through myself. So I still do that kind of things, but definitely for now and for sure, beats are in music production, arrangement, that kind of stuff. It's more of my niche for my liking and my career. Yeah. Well, I have a question <laughs> for you. So I feel like, at least for myself, that original music is harder to like, kind of get people hooked into today and and on the one hand i totally get it because it's like we're all a little bit more stressed and so we want comforts yeah. but as yeah. far as like creativity and like being able to share things that are important to you do you see songs as like even being as good of a vessel for that anymore is that like are songs more like us just for ourselves these days or do you still think that mm -hmm. that has its potential versus like more narrative forms of content that have kind of taken over i know that's a big question uh, but I just yeah think. nah i feel like every song has potential every no matter what genre this is in no matter what kind of like sounds you're using or whatever i feel like every song every sound has its own potential it's just that you have to find it and it's definitely not easy so a lot of people have been doing it for themselves and that's fine like like having a thought of it and that that's okay like oh i'm just doing this for myself that's all right but definitely someone out there will definitely appreciate your work and your your art so don't be too like uh, depressed or like too like not not as confident in, to your work basically basically just do what you're gonna do and somebody will like it definitely every every song every genre yeah <laughs> yeah and i didn't mean to sound too down about it i also meant it as like a shifting landscape of technology and stuff question as well oh okay yeah yeah like songs yeah, as you. a as a medium 
Oh yeah. Yeah. It's universal. Music universal. Like there's a lot of ways that there's no textbook for it. There's no like a bracket or like a box for it. Everything could be possible. So yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Was there anything else that you wanted to like? That's like you wanted to share or thought could be like interesting people before we got into the the stuff that I sent you. Uh, hmm. What what else could we talk about basically? Um. Well, one the question I asked Andre was like, um, just sort of like biggest advice for aspiring musicians. Oh, I mean, I, I could definitely say that, but let me think. Uh, so okay, yeah, I could say that. Yes, yeah, like my biggest advice to all the musicians out there and people who want to pursue music in their career in their future. Uh, the only one way for me to say it is just do it. Like, don't overthink. Because I've, I've met a lot of people along the way, and even myself, like we overthink a lot, feel like, oh, this sound's not gonna be good. Uh, my music's not gonna, no, no one's gonna like it, that kind of stuff. I feel like it all comes to this one sentence, which is just do it. Like you don't have to like think too much. And because somebody out there would definitely appreciate it. And you, you miss all the shots you don't take. So you just gotta make all your shots, basically. Don't overthink and just do it. And if you keep doing it, you'll learn along the way and you'll get better. That's what it is. <laughs> that's awesome, man. Is that because I, I that ties into a, like a last minute question I just thought of, which is like, you are very, very like positive and engaged, like every session I've done with you, which is like a Thank lot. You. Yeah. And uh, it feels like, you know, that doesn't happen by accident. So like, I don't know oh, yeah. if you feel like it's easy to summarize, like maybe a, a way you approach life or a, a way you uh, approach your routine that keeps you feeling fresh. And like it's playful with music and not just sludging every day because you also work really hard. It can be this thing yeah. that's like a grind. But like, how do you yeah. how do you approach it that you're positive? You know, I feel like I just started off at the correct point. Like, like I started off the right way, which is to pursue music, which is something I love. So like starting off from there, I like throughout the work and my throughout my career, there's not a single moment that I feel like. Why am I? Why am I even doing this? Like, I don't really. I don't feel like bad about what I'm doing. So I'm actually really happy and grateful. Like actually grateful, like that I'm doing music. So every second I'm doing it, no matter how hard it is, no matter what kind of people that I'm meeting or like working with, and no matter like what kind of negative stuff that that's around me, I feel like I I could just push through it just based on the fact that I'm actually doing what I love for a living, for my job, for my career, and I'm actually really really appreciative of it. So. I, I uh, yeah, it seems like stay positive all the time, and that's true, actually, yeah, because this is what I love to do, and I appreciate every second, every moment of it. So, if you ask me if I burn out, if I have something that's bad has happened, like throughout my career, definitely. But just think back to the root of it, like thinking back, like I actually started this and I made it this far, and I'm really happy about it. Like I have to be happy about it. So, yeah, no complaints. Like just me doing what I do. And yeah, I'm really grateful about it. Like, really appreciate it. Yeah, so that's awesome, man. Well, I really appreciate Thanks. you, and I hope that people watching thank will you. go watch some of the stuff Ty's helped me with and appreciate <laughs> it as well because it is. Yeah, supreme, thank you, guys. thank you, Justin. Oh talent. man, thank you, Justin. That means a lot. <laughs> Anyone can throw a beat together, but to to kind of have a a vision for what the right sounds can be is, uh, you know, you don't just. You don't just um, you don't just haphazardly do it. You know you have to be there, be present. Yeah, and that's exactly. like what you're able to do, and that's why you're able to do it, I guess. Yeah, Gratitude is the main theme, right? Yeah, exactly. That's I always great. love to try new stuff, so I have to put myself in there and learn. That's why it is. <laughs> yeah, right. like I'm making beats for you. I'm learning as well. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. You want to well, make dude, a beat right now? Yeah, dude. Let's do it. So you got the two tracks I sent, right? Yep, let me share my screen right now. Yep. So that's right. the full song of Beats Isolated. Yeah, so we're going to do them basically sequentially. So we'll do, we'll play through the full song track and then mm -hmm. it'll be like uh, your like reaction to the music itself and like understand okay. the context. And then yep. the beats for each one are beneath in isolation. And then maybe you have a preference um, to either recreate one or something original that's inspired from it at the same tempo um either one of those options to just kind of finish out okay sounds good with yeah it. i was 
We can start with uh, reacting. Yeah, start with the reacting. Okay, let's do it. All right. You ready? Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man, Justin, I always love your textures. I always love like the this isn't my music. Elements in it. This isn't my music. Oh, is in your music? No, okay. no. So okay. this is the this is the biggest fandom that has somehow inextricably become like super attached to my channel because I recreate okay. these sounds on cello, and uh -huh. they're like, oh, it's so accurate. And oh, I don't know. Oh. It's a it's a total world, man. I feel like. We were just talking about being open-minded, and I feel like it, yeah. it's, it would be so easy uh, as like adult, serious pursued musicians to like be like, "All right, let's not overly engage with this." But at the same time, there's a ton of complexity to it, and a ton of yeah. interesting like opportunities in it, and uh -huh. it's something that we're good at because it really plays into the actual like each instrument's abilities and like. It's actually yeah. very ingenious in the formula. It's like a puzzle that's put together with these different individual monsters with their own personalities. So <laughs> it's okay. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, so you played this in the channel, like this. What, the what second one. Now? The second one. Yeah. I recently did. I, I recreated the entire thing on cello, and I recorded the okay. process as well. It was the first time right. I did that, but people liked that a lot. So it's kind of. It's like yeah. a new thing. Actually just enjoying the process of making music as much as just the end result. Because exactly. I love to make music. That's what you were talking about right. too. Like I don't I don't want it to or I don't need it to just be the end result that you see. Like the whole thing is great. And sometimes you can see yeah. more of it as it gets pieced together, which I think is why this game music is so popular because you add one monster to the island and then another and you really get to know the song so deeply. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like a lot of textures, a lot of sounds, a lot of like, inspiration, basically. So yeah, love it. Speed, speed run, run. basically speed run. Okay, yeah, we, we, let's try recreate this <laughs> this loop, right? Or, or this one. Let's see which one's better. Hmm, I feel like this better. Yeah, I feel like okay. that's more. Yeah, let's do well. it. Okay, you hear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. First of all, I'm just gonna lay down the arrangement. Thank you. 
little fix here and there. Just to sum it up. Okay, I guess we kind of had the groove, so let's hear it. And you know, what's sick, you know what's sick about it too, dude, is um, because it's so composed by by numbers essentially. Uh, this will yeah. be in a, a fan. We're gonna. I'm gonna do it like a channel fan made island original whatever. So okay. this will be the this will be the beat in it, almost certainly. All right. Yeah, that's. So cool. I love that it has your personality in it, and it has a little bit of a different <laughs> take on it. That's actually perfect. Just wanted you to know that it's it'll, it's it's going somewhere. Yeah, that's cool, Justin. I love it. All right, yeah. Uh, everything good? Like, do you want? Is there anything else you want me to say or stuff? Or yeah, if you have any, if you have any final things you want to say, uh, now would be the time. Uh, otherwise, oh, I'll okay. Wrap up, I guess. Yeah. Uh, let me say it. Like, so first of all, I'll say thank you, thank you, Justin, for having me on this, and it's been a pleasure working with you for the past about a year. For a lot of months, I don't know how long you've been. A lot of months. It's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it was a pleasure always working with you, and I always love your stuff. And thank you for having me, and thank you everybody, if anybody's watching. And yeah, just keep doing it, keep grinding, live life, be happy. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And because this is about MSM, people actually will watch it, which is why we're doing it. So I see. it's actually good. And I yeah. yes, I look forward to the next time we can do it. Uh, hopefully an original piece of music as well. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate your time as always, man. You're so awesome. No problems, bro. Always a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. I'll send this to you, though. And yes, you can play I, and, around with and it. the link. Okay, thanks so much, man. Yeah. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Good night, yeah. actually. Yeah. Enjoy the rest All of your right. sessions. Bye. All righty. Take care. Oh man, you guys, I get hyped. That was literally so cool. Like, uh, I love this feeling. He's so good too, right? That's like in like five minutes and you literally, I don't know how he does it, man. He knows, he knows. Anyway, just incredible. 
<laughs> oh, I just said my name there. Just incredible. <sighs> well, guys, it's late. And I hope you really enjoyed being here. And I hope you will follow Kai on below. I hope you will like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you will let me know what type of things you want to see. And I hope you will have a great night as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thank you.